Hey guys, so today we're making my last My Little Ponies cake for the year. And I'm making a baby rainbow dash cake. This is flippin' adorable. This is just one of the three My Little Ponies videos I have up on this channel. And it's also a collaboration with my friend Carla from Cake Bash Studios. She lives in LA and we hang out sometimes when I'm not overwhelmed with YouTube videos. I love this cake you guys, so let's get started. And the cakes you're going to need for this video are a six inch round cake, two cakes shaped like eggs, a six inch dome cake, and a nine by five inch rectangular cake. Preferably funfetti, but you can use whatever cake you like. Now the first thing I'm going to create is my wild animal cake stabilizing structure. And this is just to keep the head from sliding off the body. And the first thing I did was cut a large arts and crafts stick in half at a diagonal. And then I just cut in two slits into a six inch cake board and then hot glue gunned my arts and crafts sticks into those slits. This isn't amazing at all, but these hands, man, they're making it look like everything. Now with my nine by five inch cake, I've taken two cookie cutters, one's two inches round and the other one's one and three fourths inch. It's just a little bit smaller. I'm gonna need four of each shape to create Rainbow Dash's legs. Now with a little bit of buttercream, I'm just going to glue the smaller cake onto the top of the larger one. And then place these into the freezer to chill. After that, I started assembling Rainbow Dash. So the dome cake is going to be Rainbow Dash's body. I'm going to take the first egg cake and place it in between the two arts and crafts stick. Now this is going to be Rainbow Dash's head. I'm going to add some buttercream into the middle of the egg cake and glue the other side of the egg to the top. Now if you're subscribed to my channel, then you know this is the exact same way that I create a lot of my wild animals. This is how I created Cena, Doodle, and Zabroni. But to create Rainbow Dash, I'm gonna have to add a few more steps. So the first thing I'm gonna do is slice off the top part of the egg cake, and then very awkwardly glue on top the six inch round cake. It looks very strange, <laughs> but it's gonna create Rainbow Dash's mane. And there's a lot of volume in this mane, and so I had to account for all that volume with another cake. And after I placed it on, I started to carve away at it to make it look even more like the mane, and I also started to carve away at her snout. Compared to the other horses I've created, it's really, really small. I was looking at this like little picture of Rainbow Dash and trying very hard to turn this very little 2D image into a 3D cake. I think I did a pretty good job. Now first I just got the basic shape and then I started to round out all of my edges. Now I took her legs out of the fridge and with a paring knife I just started to shave away the sides of the larger cake so that they looked like one piece. Added a little bit of buttercream and then applied them to Rainbow Dash's body. Now before I would just do this with Twinkies, but all of the ponies in My Little Pony have very specific looking feet. After I finished that, I gave the entire cake a chrome coat. It doesn't look like Rainbow Dash yet, it looks like, like Elvis, if Elvis were a pony. And I placed this into the fridge for about 30 minutes and then I gave it a second crumb coat. Now I didn't want to give it a complete second coat of buttercream because I count fondant as icing. It's a moldable icing, but it's still an icing. Now I rolled out a really large piece of baby blue fondant and then covered Rainbow Dash's head in it. Now I wasn't really sure how big this piece was going to be so that I made it extra big. Then I just used my hand to mold the fondant onto Baby Dash's head, cutting away all of the extra fondant at the bottom of the cake. Now her mane goes a little bit further than her snout, so I added a little bit of Rice Krispie Treats to extend the tip. Then I coated it with some buttercream. I rolled out some more baby blue fondant and covered Rainbow Dash's body in it. It was easier to cover her body than the head, but I still had problems around the same area. When I was covering her head, her arms were getting in the way, and when I was covering her arms, her head was getting in the way. But besides that, it was pretty easy. Just molded it onto the cake and cut away the excess with my paring knife. 
Now into the fridge this went again, and then I started to cover her mane. And I'm covering her mane with some orange fondant. I did this in two parts, because I covered each side separately. I wasn't actually sure how else to do it. Well, this worked out fine. After I covered the left side of the cake, I used some fondant tools to make it look even more like a mane. Now using a little bit of vodka, I attached some yellow pieces of fondant and this is when it started to really look like Rainbow Dash. And after I applied the red to the top of the mane, I was like, yo, it's working out. My confidence was like here and now it's like whoop 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 whoop. Now to create her ears, I rolled out some baby blue fondant really kind of thick. Um, I added some MCM to this because I needed them to stand. I cut out the ear shape and just applied them to the cake with two toothpicks and some vodka. Now I added some purple, blue, and green fondant to the back of her head to get the bottom part of her mane. After that, I moved on to creating her rainbow tail. I failed at this part of the cake. I really didn't know how to translate the rainbow from 2D to 3D. Um, and so we got this sort of flat representation. Like, like five out of 10. I'd give this tail like a five out of 10. Next, I moved on to Rainbow Dash's eyes. Now, Rainbow Dash's eyes are just different layers of fondant layered on top of each other. Using a printout I created, I cut out all of the features that corresponded to the color of the eye, and then I attached them together with a little bit of vodka. It's pretty easy, it just takes a lot of time. Take the eye and again with a little bit of vodka attached it to the cake. Vodka evaporates, you guys, so there's no alcohol on this cake, okay? Right? I think. Either that or I've gotten a lot of underage kids drunk. <laughs> now with a little bit of fondant, I gave her nostrils and a very cute smile. And we only have one more thing to create for Rainbow Dash. I really don't want to show you how I did these wings because they're too thick. <laughs> this fondant way too thick, I need to cut it, man. I rolled out fondant super thick, and the reason I rolled it out this thick was because I was scared it was gonna break when I put them up. But there's no excuse for how thick this fondant is. Using a template I created, I cut out Rainbow Dash's wings. And then I gave these wings a little bit more detail by creating two inner feathers. I stuck a lollipop stick into the wings so that I could poke this into the cake. Now these wings have to crust and set for like, um, I'm, I said like 42 hours. I was so scared that these were gonna collapse and so I was like, I'm just gonna, y'all chill for a little bit and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the rest, but y'all just chill right When they were ready, I stuck them into the back of Rainbow Dash, added a little bit coconut grass, y'all know I like that coconut shaving, and voila, baby Rainbow Dash. This cake is adorable, it's so lovely. This is like the kind of cake that Stevie Wonder sings songs about. If I could do this cake over again, I would figure out the tail and I would definitely thin out these wings. While I was shooting the final pictures of this cake, the wings are just like very slowly just inching down towards the ground. But this is the first and last time I'm gonna make this cake, so. Whatevs. I have two other My Little Pony videos on this channel. I also have three other wild animal cakes. And in two months, my koala cake zoo is getting its first reindeer. And make sure you head over to Cake Bash Studios and check out Carla's awesome cupcakes. We had Asian tacos together. What are Asian tacos? I don't know, but they're really yummy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you very soon. Peace.